Explicit content warning, mature audiences only. The language and content uttered by these two knuckleheads may be sexually explicit, profane, controversial, etc., and is not to be taken literally, but only in a satirical and comical context. Viewer discretion is advised. How'd your drop go, bro? Um, uh, it was okay. It was okay. Yeah. I just got your letter, like, yesterday. Bro. Damn. That's tough. That's crazy. Damn, they sent out, they all got there, like, at different times. That kind of sucks, bro. Mine was already open. Somebody finessed me. No way. Are you serious? So, it was probably my mom that opened it. Oh. <laughs> She used the code, bro. <laughs> she used the discount code. She, she used the code. So you're walking around with a soulless hoodie. <laughs> no, but it went well. Yeah. Pretty okay. Um, Better than last one? Uh, honestly, nah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, you know, just trying to keep a PMA positive mental attitude you know what i'm saying but uh i've got a crack thanks bro i put po- you know what though i posted it on reddit and oh, like, really yeah and like it did like you know i'm pretty sure from there like i know for a fact i'm pretty sure i got a, like a sale from there two sales actually from there mm-hmm. so fuck it man yeah I, like that's someone like i don't know like, what's just, subreddit uh like streetwear startup you know what I'm saying? So it's like the audience that it's like meant mm-hmm. for type shit. You know what I'm saying? So honestly, bro, like I was having a conversation with uh, homie Garrett about this. And you're just talking like, I think he said like Lil Yachty said like it's, you know, it's not that like what you like are making is not like tough, but it's like who you're showing it to, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that was pretty cool, but but yeah, bro. I'm trying to I'm trying to do another like uh, pop up, mm-hmm. you know, like I think that's people. where you get the best. Yeah, like to get people there, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because it's nice like being able to like talk to people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, but yeah, that's the plan. You know, we're actually so at the studio at the La Rosa studio. Mm-hmm. You know the joint we were in. Um, at one time when we were talking to polo um yeah so we're thinking of like starting to do uh have like poetry nights there oh, okay. like open mic you know what i'm saying so uh yeah that's just a idea right now though but that's in the works that'd be tough how would go you would go yeah, yeah. We, we got one we got uh we got one poet for sure who's who's gonna be uh speaking for real yeah just me for right now <laughs> <laughs> The stars twinkle. <laughs> nah, bro. Like the, like. Dust. Have you ever written before? Like not not like a poem, but like just write. Like do you ever just like have you ever just written your thoughts, like a journal? I mean, I have before, but not like that much ever. Why? No, I just ask because like, I think that's also like poetry too, kind of in a way. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like you can look back on it. You know, whatever it is, I don't know. How do you do it? Like, how, how do you start out? Oh, well, I, I don't do it no more. Honestly, I haven't done it in a while. But I used to like. Like you just like dear diary. Nah, not even that. Bro. Today, nah. my crush said hi to me. <laughs> yeah. I giggled and my face got red. <laughs> yes. And lit up. And I popped with the bone Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nah. My wiener half chubbed. <laughs> Say no, nah, but. So how do you do it? Oh, I would just like literally just write out yo my day type. I would just be I would, it's almost as if like I was having a conversation like with God, like I'm just sending him like letters, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm just like you know, oh. I'm like thank you God and uh you know, today went pretty well. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? I just go on about my day. Mm. And uh is it therapeutic? Yeah, it's pretty therapeutic. But even if you had a shit day yeah no exactly and because then you you look back on it and then you're like damn like what i was like thinking about at that time or what it was that was making me feel like shit 
You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. And now I like conquered it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> nah, bro. Hell no. Not For yet. Real? Nah, bro. You realize how you still have the same problems even 10 years from yeah, 10 years bro. later. Literally, son. It's literally like, it's just, you know. But you do see a difference, so, you know. So. Mm-hmm. What if you, instead of doing that in a journal you or something like that or on paper, you then started doing it to somebody? You know, and like venting to them or something like that, like mm. therapy essentially. Mm. Do you think that would be an extra helpful hand? Because you know, talking to yourself, you're not going to hear anything new. Technically, it's yeah. just your own thoughts type shit. That's true. But I don't know. I'm just saying because I feel like that's how therapy works, right? Yeah. Damn. That's so pretty. maybe one day, write that shit out. Yeah. And show it to someone qualified. Not to some like goober, <laughs> goober you know, on the street. Like, hey, bro, look at this, bro. Yeah. Damn, bro. And maybe provide some other substance or perspective to your life. You know what I'm saying? Psst. Give you them answers. I don't know what the fuck. The opi- op- opioid uh, epidemic. Yeah, the opioid epidemic. Is that how like it started? Right with like doctors and stuff. Like what? that shit was a whole business. Like the um. Opium, opioids. I mean, all drugs are business. Yeah, that's true. You know. But like legal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Well, yeah, because yeah, it makes you addicted to it, and it's like painkillers. Damn. And everybody be addicted to it. But I don't care about that shit. <sighs> yeah, fuck that. Because you should know about that. Guess what? They talk about the opioid epidemic. How you get how? Oh, it's so tragic. It's such a sad thing. Because who are the people suffering from it, bro? everybody and it's a lot of white people mm. but then you talk about crack and the crack epidemic and all it affected like the black community you know that stuff and like fucking crack babies and also you know just just mm-hmm. tucking so down upon them and all that shit just goes to show the difference of how like Damn. they broadcast things you know what i'm saying Damn. like we don't want these crack babies out here oh, oh like these people the reason why is because 70 percent of these families have, don't have a father in their family mm. you, know, like, you know all this bullshit and all this saying all this stuff but then when it comes to the opioids they're like oh this low income community it first started with them losing their jobs and then tragically looking towards drugs and then it's like wow look how like they just play it off and like oh my god the people are suffering. Damn. Whereas they make the lower, like the black people and all that stuff. And what's it called? The low income homes and all that shit. They make it seem like it's their fault. Not like the system's fault. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like their fault that they're crack babies and all that stuff. If only they worked harder. You know how many times they've said that? You know they say that shit on news, bro? That's wild, bro. For real. Yeah, they say that shit on the news. Damn. Of course. Back in the days, they say that shit hell. I don't know. You see a Putin is so different. Everything's so fucked. Damn, it is fucked, bro. I don't know, bro. Being a real pessimist right now, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Because yeah, it is, it is hard times. It's hard times right now because, you know, um, well, first of all, thank you for listening. Yes. Thank you, Because, you know, this is a way, an outlet that we have to yeah. shit where I can... Or we can just express our thoughts mm. and talk about things that may be touchy or whatever. Who knows, bro? Just we're here free balling this shit. Doesn't even fucking matter for real. For real. No script or nothing. Mm. But right now, you know, it's episode what? 53? 53. And uh, yeah, it's just hard times because we had a, a friend over the weekend, like a close friend, good friend, pass tragically. Mm. And I don't even know how what extent I'm gonna like speak upon this because like at the end of the day, it's still like a fresh wound type shit. Mm. And what I say now and how I feel now, I can look back and like in retrospect and be like, why did I say something like that? So mm. I don't know. I'm gonna try to be like objective as possible yeah. and not really put too much emotion to it. But like just thinking about death, you know, yeah, and how crazy it is. I've never mm. had anybody in my life. That I was really like close to or anything like that, that had passed. And this is the first time, my first experience. And just, just know it. It's it's not an experience you ever want. Yeah. What the fuck? This shit fuck. sucks. Dead ass. Rip um, Joey. Yeah, Rip Joel, man. Rip Joel. My bro. 
like uh just like an aspect of it that sucks is just having that news bro like having the news trying to break it to somebody that we all know that like we are mutual friends with and experience good times with and we're good friends with and stuff and just to let them know like damn this man is past just now like what the hell it's hard as fuck to do because i mean i heard i mean joel was a man with a lot of friends you know he was pretty popular in the neighborhood of course he was a funny ass dude the geek actually like if you only have you only have memories of him of it being something funny <laughs> or dumb but like you can always just laugh at at the end of the day like that's just every memory you have of him Damn. so it was never a dull time so yeah he was a pretty popular guy bro so my uh, his cousin told me and then I, I had to tell like his other friend group and shit mm. and i don't know just telling them over the phone it was hard as fuck like that's I, like getting that call. First of all, I got the call from uh, from a friend, mm. and after I got that call, I was like, "What the hell?" Like I couldn't even process it. Wow. Like they were, I was on the phone with them, and I was like, "I gotta hang up." You know, I gotta talk to somebody. I gotta talk to people. I gotta tell people. I gotta let them know. But after that, at the same time, I'm thinking about telling people. I'm like trying to hold back tears, bro, and like fight these emotions because like it hasn't even hit me yet. It yeah. still like fully hasn't even hit yeah. me yet. Like it hasn't even been a week. And I don't know, Brad, like, death is a crazy thing. Yeah. And it sucks because my little bro recently lost somebody, too, to him. Mm. And it sucks because not even a little bit later, like, I felt that day, I felt pain for my little brother. And I was even there, like, crying for this man. I mean, because I knew his friend as well. Yeah. But obviously, like, I was like, holy crap, this sucks. I feel bad for I can't I can't even imagine what he's feeling. Mm. And now two months later, it's like wow, I lose somebody too. And it's, I don't know something around us is just not right, bro. Like I don't know. The end is near. Some shit, <laughs> bro. I tell the you, end is near some shit, bro. Because bro, it's, I tell you, bro. Like I hear every. I don't know. I'm scared every week. We're scared. You don't know what's next. Like the next news you're gonna get. That's gonna be tragic. Or some shit like that. There's always saying, something. Bro, I don't be, I don't really be joking like about that, bro. Like, For real? I do, but like I, like I, I low key like mean it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, but yeah, that's crazy, bro. Dang, bro. I mean, all you can do uh, is just really mourn, you know. Just that's what it is. Cause at some point, like it's gonna have to, like the, you know true emotions are gonna have to be like come out at some point you know what i'm saying yeah because for like you know i have been ducking it for yeah <laughs> you've been ducking <laughs> yeah like i've been trying not to think about yeah. it yeah like instead of just i never i have yet to like just sit for like more than an hour and just like look at my stuff and just cry like i've always mm. tried to distract myself you know yeah. i don't let myself get to that like i'll start crying out of nowhere but then I'll try to distract myself quickly instead of just letting it feel, you know what I'm saying? Damn. It's because, bro, like, I don't want to accept this, son. Yeah. I just don't. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Damn. And why in our area so many people, like, losing their lives, too, just in general? That's what I'm saying. Every week, yeah, something bro. new. Yeah, bro. Like, it's, yeah. For, ah, dang, that's, even, that's another thing, bro. Like, for, like, people who don't know or who do, it's, like shit that's happening just in like germantown and like gatorsburg area mm-hmm. right yeah it's just people getting like murdered montgomery county yeah bro it's like people getting murdered like bro it's crazy dog. car accidents but like oc ones yeah. every like every day like two a day i see that shit all the time and i'm like jesus dog i don't know why like murders and homicides are the worst yeah like, those are the worst like why are we murdering and killing each other like, Jesus Christ. Like, is it really that bad? We live in a pretty good area. Like, yeah. At the end of the day, we're way more fortunate than. Oh, yeah. Privileged. And a lot of more sure. places are more fortunate than, like, many others in, of, throughout the country. Yeah. You know, some other places in the country are, like, way fucked up. I mean, and it's not to, like, obviously undermine 
the hardships that it is here, like, you know, going on here. Because, I mean, shit is getting harder, you know, with gas prices and just inflation mm-hmm. and stuff. So, stuff is getting harder. So, I guess that can, you know, yeah. that, that also reflects the crime. Mm-hmm. So, we can't just not think about that. But at the same time, it's like, damn, it sucks how in, like, the society and stuff like that, we tend to, like, go against each other. You know, and kill each other, go after each other, as opposed to, like, unite in times of hardship, you know? Mm. In times of hardship, we're more defensive into ourselves instead of, like, going out to seek help. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't know. Mm. We have so much pride in our... Yeah, just, like, that's what it is. It's, like, almost... Them. I was just thinking, even, it's, like, the ego, it just grows, like, as a society. Yeah as it grows more it's just it becomes more we're also competitive yeah. like we have to mm-hmm. be better than each other we wonder, can't like lift each other up i wonder if that's like a part of at least what i would believe which would be like god's punishment mm. on the human race you know what i'm saying what do you mean like that was a part of like the punishment from the original sin is that like you know we have an ego and like um I guess have the 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 deep desire to want to do like evil type shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But that's damn. Just, we have. We think we all have a deep desire desire to do evil. I, I, don't I know. that's a little extreme, I don't know. I don't buddy. Know if I would call it evil, but like I what guess maybe evil, evil is a strong word. But I was in like in like uh, I guess Christian terms, it could be con- it could be considered like your flesh. It's just your fleshly desire to basically want to commit sin Mm -hmm. you know maybe maybe yeah like evil is i guess just an extreme (laughs) yeah bro i'm like i'm not thinking about murdering somebody every day or some shit (laughs) yeah no of course not but like uh, well some people do think like that yeah but that's because that i feel like that stems from something else though usually yeah Yeah, definitely everyone maybe not but uh (laughs) yeah so i don't know that's just based on like what i believe but um yeah i don't know son it's crazy we were literally like talking about this last week <laughs> just that concept of death yeah you know what i mean we're like making jokes about it and yeah shit too. and it's like damn that's crazy bro well i mean if we want to put it into context like we were talking about like reincarnation and like yeah the afterlife kind of yeah so, so what do you think joel would reincarnate into <sighs> damn because man, Joel, he was a funny guy. Yeah, I don't know. He was. He'd probably be like a little gecko, <laughs> or some shit. He'd gecko. definitely be like a gecko, yeah, gecko. or like a salamander, <laughs> a little slime, slimy ass salamander. I think probably a. Mm, I don't know, like a. I was gonna say maybe a platypus. I can see that too. You know, you know why? That's weird that you say that. Why? He used to have like a hidden talent, or one of his things used to be that he used to just like spread all his uh, his toes. toes. Oh yeah. my god! He used to just do that shit all the time. He used to just spread every single one of his toes open. <laughs> like Yo. a fucking weirdo. Ah oh, shit! Damn. Recipes, Joe, bro. I'm telling you, see, every memory is just funny. Though. Yeah, Rick Joey, to be son. Fun. Damn. That's crazy. He was always like geeking or smiling. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And like a good time. It would it would kind of geek me the way he would walk sometimes. He was just like kind of like it was like, it looked like he was like floating. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was always bouncing. Yeah, he was always like <laughs> he was in the gritty, the gritty or whatever the fuck it's called. The what? The gritty or whatever it's called. Oh, <laughs> he was hitting that drum every single time he walked. <laughs> Damn, bro. At some point, like. Not to get too more like deep into this, like the idea of death, right? But like, mm-hmm. I mean, that's inevitably gonna be us one day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck. That's crazy. I mean, one of my friends said he was like, I mean, realistically thinking or speaking, and I was like, damn, it sucks how negative or fucked up you could think about life in so many ways. Like, there's so many ways to think about life, but so many are fucked up. Like, he dead ass told me, and he was like. If you think about it, many of us have already lived like a quarter to a half of our life already. <laughs> so I'm like, holy shit, like some of us even more and we don't even know it. I think we talked about it before. Would you rather know how you die or when, or when? you die? Yeah. Damn. 
we talked about that before yeah i think so i think we did damn i'd rather think i'd rather think about like how i'd rather know how shit because if i was like brutally murdered mm. i wouldn't really care when just i'm gonna get brutally murdered anyway right i'm not gonna try to yeah. find a way to prevent that there's no way there's can. no way you can prevent it it's yeah. how i'm gonna die so yeah. like there's no changing it so i feel like people have to have that idea in this argument you know mm -hmm. well i like to find out how so then i can just prevent that you know if i could just never yeah. if i die on an airplane i can never go on an airplane ever again like, no nah, that's on. not possible yeah exactly like that's even stupid. if you tried there would be a way somehow that like you're gonna forget yeah at one point or you're gonna, gonna be, be on it and then go on the airplane and be like oh shit or you're, you're gonna just realize gonna... when you're on it and be like, <laughs> oh, i died on an airplane <laughs> and it's like oh psh, no, wait, that, yeah and that's even like we have our energy we're going down like what if you just weren't you, you just weren't in control we're like what if some, something is <laughs> no, we're going down guys <laughs> Everybody, price for impact. Yeah, there's actually a recently a freaking airplane that fell. Did you see that? No. It nosedive, bro. What? Straight fucking down. That's why it's it's, people, it's going under undergoing investigation right no now. No way. 140, 143 people just dead. Boom. 142 people. Yeah. Just dead, bro. Exploded. Just nosedive. That's so fucking crazy. That's why people are saying that it might be deliberate. Like the pilot might have done it deliberately because no fucking plane just knows that. Sorry, I just had to bring that up because we were talking about planes and shit. Yeah. So you think that was like, what if like the pilot was just like going through it? He was like, fuck this. That's so, that's evil, bro. Because what the fuck? You're like, you're not just killing yourself, bro. You're killing yeah, yeah. so many people <laughs> in such a tragic way. At least it's instant, you know. There's no way you're surviving it. You know, I heard the life of a like of a pilot is like supposedly like the loneliest, like one of the loneliest. Like, what like, really? Jobs. Yeah. Why? Because it's like you're always flying and like in hotels, mm -hmm. so you're just like you know alone, like basically like. What do you mean? They don't don't they have the fucking the who are the people that are on the plane with them? Oh, the co-pilot. No, no, no. The, uh, oh, the stewardesses. Yeah, the stewardesses. stewardesses. Yeah, that was, yeah, I was on. I was yeah, on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, yeah the stewardesses. Like, Yo. bro, you just be piping in the whole time <laughs> in different cities. What's that? Isn't there a name for that? For like, like sex that's in the plane or something? Oh, my right? high club. Yeah, my high club. There you go. Yeah, having Yo. sex on the plane. That's wild, bro. Would club. you ever do that? I mean, it would have to be like first class, like <laughs> private. Like, there's no way I'm doing that shit. I'm not doing it in the bathroom, bro. Have you been on an airplane bathroom, bro? I don't think I've they, ever been in an airplane. They're so small. Like, what the hell? It's so stupid. Oh, like, you would know. No, yeah, you're going to hear. Like, I don't know. It just wouldn't <laughs> make sense, bro. And also sneaking them in there. Like, how are you going to, like, both come out, both go in? I don't know. I uh, know, yeah. So I it'd understand. have to be first class shit. There's, there's some planes that are tough as fuck. Like, a whole separate room type shit. Yeah, like, they got a bed. Yeah. That's just, actually like, insane. They're not, and they're in first class. They're not going to bug bro, you. Bro, that's, that's literally, like, bro, if you think about that, there's literally only a certain group of people that have like the uh, capacity to be able to experience that yeah like yeah fuck that or like the, pri <laughs> the privilege the privilege yeah to ever get to do that shit and it's like it's such a fucking annoying ass thing. like it's so fucking annoying how that how life is set up that way oh it should be like it's such a dumb ass why can't we all fucking travel in comfort bro what the fuck like why yeah. can't we all just tra travel and have a good time why does traveling have to be a shitty experience? Bro, I mean, that's like the same. Isn't that the same low key as like world hunger? Because if you think about it, it would be possible. Like, oh, yeah. With the amount of money that there is. Like, oh, yeah. you know, e right? Elon can end that shit right now. Yeah. With like two hours of him working. <laughs> two hours. Two hours of him work. working. He already accumulated enough wealth to end world hunger type shit. So, yeah, bro. I mean, yep. We all have the capacity to do a lot of things, mm -hmm. but we don't. Yeah. Because that's how the world is. Bro, there's man. a wild movie. I don't know if I've ever talked about it or told you. Well, called uh, The Platform. Nah. Have you heard about it? Nah. Well, it's a Spanish movie, actually. It's oh. called La Plataforma. La Plataforma. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think there actually is like Argentinian, like, or it might be Spanish, like Spain. I don't know. But yeah, I think it actually is Spain. Spaniard. But, yeah, Spaniard. Yeah, so. Vosotros. Oh. Vosotros. <laughs> But uh, what about it? 
la plataforma. Oh, basically what it is, <laughs> <laughs> the concept is like, so they're in basically what's supposed to be like a jail, I believe. So it's like a, it's like a, a jail, but it's like vertical, right? So, because there's like an elevator that comes up and down okay. with food. Okay. And then there's two people basically in a cell mm -hmm. like this, right? And like every day, like, you know, you're in a, there's obviously like, there's a certain, so the people who are number one, like they get the most, like it has the most food, right? Basically, they just make a bunch of food and then that's when the platform like goes down, right? Um, slowly, like throughout the day or something like that. But anyways... Of course, as it goes more down, like there's gonna be less food, right? So that's the whole thing is that like there's people who like don't ever like, get shit. get food at all, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's people who like just because of their position, like they're literally like whatever, like four, mm. you know what I'm saying? They get all this opportunity to eat yeah. all this food. Um, just because we are but if they it. wanted to though, they could if they all got their their portions. Yeah, everybody can. Everybody eat could well. eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's just the greed, I guess. Yeah, and we're all so selfish. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that's why, like, low-key, like, it was kind of an exaggeration what I said, like, earlier on, like, everyone having, like, that evil spirit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like, if you think about it, though, like, I, th I guess the word just evil sounds, like, so strong, though. But it's, like, it's just... Reality? You think? I don't know about evil, bro. I just think we all have, like, temptations and shit. Yeah. And so, like... Because they can not but, necessarily have evil intent, you know, I guess. I'm saying, like, evil intent could also mean, like, uh, like envying someone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or So then the people in the bottom can also be evil, too. Be like, fuck them. They never fucking yeah. give us any fucking No, exactly. Food. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. And, uh. So we're all fucking evil. <laughs> what the fuck, dog? I mean, humans are evil, dog. We literally are. It's so sad. Yeah. It's so sad. That's why, damn. That's crazy, bro. We're all just made to just give into it. It's like we create, but we also destroy. Yeah. You know what I'm we saying? We destroy just as hard. Yeah. <laughs> as we do, as we create. Because in order to create, we fucking make so many carbon emissions and all that shit. And just, just in general, we're going to all fucking die soon but low by, key, like, by climate is, change. So. But is, this, is destruction a bad thing, though? Yes. Well, at least for me. Because it's selfish. Like, and within that, again, it's selfish. I guess if you think so. Because if we're all evil innately, then we don't deserve to live technically, right? So us dying yeah. is going to save the planet more than mm -hmm. us being on it. So if yeah. at the end of the day, it would yeah. be good for us to all die. Yeah. And that would be considered good. Yeah. destruction. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's another selfish desire to, I guess, even want to live. Holy yeah. shit, I should <laughs> just kill myself. <laughs> it's like, nah. Oh, fuck, man. That's crazy, bro. Damn. Just rip Joey through over. Rip Joey, bro. It's crazy how like they preach so much to give, to give, to give. Like everything is always preached in goodness, but it's like the thing that nobody ever does. With people that do it, you just don't know. You never hear about it, bro. It's mm. never highlighted. I don't know. Yeah, Rip Joey, bro. Like, <sighs> I was just watching the, like the old Batman with like Christian Bale. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Have you seen the third one with Bane? No. Yeah, and Tom Hardy's Bane. Yeah, I was just like, damn. not the Bane from the Tim Burton one. Nah. Did you ever watch that one still? Nah, I haven't seen. You it haven't either. seen it, the no. one with Arnold. Arnold. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you have to watch it, bro. It's bro. a very, it's a very, it's very iconic just damn. because of how shite it is. <laughs> but it's tough. Maybe I fuck I with it. I fuck with it. Damn. I grew up a lot watching a lot of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was always on TV. What was your like? favorite cartoon i've been watching a lot of like old cartoon things recently like recaps bro i was just i was literally kind of thinking about that you know when you were talking about the story of the airplane crashing yeah how it went like nose first yeah there was a looney tunes episode i remember that was like that okay and it was just it was, a bit kid looney tunes or baby looney tunes? nah it was like bugs and he was like in a plane and it was like just going down <laughs> and like um yeah i forgot it kind of it, it stopped like literally right before it was gonna hit it somehow. So wait, when they nosedive, do you think that they're all just ass cheek on top of each other in the front of the plane? 
Yeah, that's yeah. You that's, know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they all just fell forward to the plane. So, just, yeah, it would literally be like. So people are just in the bottom getting suffocated. Fuck yeah! Holy shit! You know they said that it was like going straight down. Then it re- got caught again, and it was fine. And then went down again, nose dived again. Wow! So that what if it was like the pilot started going down, and the co-pilot yo was like, "Whoa, what the fuck are you doing?" You know, because there's always two. There's always yeah, two pilots yeah, yeah. on purpose. Just in case, yeah, somebody can just pass out, then what, game over. Yeah, yeah. So they should have three. I feel like they should always have three. Mm. Just in case, because there can always be two people passing out, bro. Anyway, <laughs> two people pass out, then you're fucked, boy. The steward is about to yeah, hop in that bitch. Yeah, the steward is. All right, but anyway, uh, so I think, like, they started scrapping or some shit, you know? And, like, damn, it's mm. crazy how, like, the evil guy won. <laughs> damn. Damn, why am I laughing? But, yeah, the evil guy won, and he was like, bet, now I can continue just kill us all. Damn, you think that's what happened? You think, <laughs> you think they fought and he just won? Imagine that, bro. That's like a movie scene shit right there. Yeah, that's, that's like... That's literally movie shit right there. Yeah, bro, that's a... Um, that's also speculation. We also don't know if that's actually like the yeah. case. We don't actually know if it was like fully intentional. Mm-hmm. But the guy just went to kill himself. And that is a imagination, though. Like... I mean, because like, bro, just know. think about it. Yeah, no, I definitely like you know that's. Uh, have you ever seen like a seems plane? Like some movie shit for real. Like nose dive, bro. That's my biggest fear. You know that? That's my biggest fear. I hate planes. Like, last time I was on a plane was Puerto Rico, and I was with my girl, bro. She remembers it all the time, vividly. Mm. That I was just sweating my ball sack off <laughs> as we were on lifting, as we were lifting off, and as we fucking descend too, and we land. I'm just. She holds my hand and I just hold that shit tight like a fucking puss. Like 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 she's my mother, like, hold me mommy. And then I'm just sweating like profusely out of my hands and all that shit. Like I just I'm nervous as fuck on that shit, bro. I don't know why. I just the whole concept that I can die. You know what I'm saying? And you have no control. Like my light yeah, I have zero control. Yeah, like no control. I'm just literally just trusting you in my life right yeah. now. <laughs> at least the car accident, at least I feel like I'm in more control. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whereas on the plane, but if engine you're, failure, what am I doing? GG, bro. But same if you're a passenger, though. If I'm a passenger. And you're, dry, and you're in a car, yeah. it's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but there's there's this, but okay, but also think about the survivability rate of a car accident. Oh, true, yeah. As opposed to like. Oh, yeah, plane. Airplane. airplane. That's true. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah no, that's know? true. Yeah, plane. Regardless, I'm thinking of, yeah. <laughs> but realistically, that can happen anywhere, though. Like, mm-hmm. even on a, in an amusement park and shit. True. Like going on a roller coaster, like have have you seen people fall off roller coasters nah. before? Them shits are wild too. That would be insane to see that, like in person. Yeah, I'll probably like yak. Traumatizing. I would yak, bro. <laughs> like it was like those spinny Jones. They oh spin, God. they spin, they spin, they spin. Flew out, and they just bang their head and just bah. people to get decapitated, bro. When you, when you learn physics, you realize how like how like killable we are. Like, like it's so easy for us to die and like the concept of like just uh like gravity just because yeah. you jumped and like you know you're like plummeting down you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and like what happens to your body like explodes right that's what yeah. happens like do you just absorb all the energy you got to go somewhere so it goes explodes out yeah. your bitch ass <laughs> nah but like i don't know what i was thinking about earlier today but but just like when on bridges i always have I'm just always like subconsciously thinking about like that, like that movie scene, the like cliche ass movie scene when I'm on a bridge oh. of it, like it's falling behind you and yeah. you're just going as fast as you can oh, and yeah, before, yeah, yeah. before you like you, it falls off. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how I always am. Like when I'm on a car, when my car just driving, I just like always oh. picture like, oh my God, the fucking bridge is falling. It's collapsing behind me. It's behind me. Behind me. I have to get off quick. I have to get off quick. I don't know. I'm such a nervous person when it comes to that shit. I always assume the worst and i think it might be like a hereditary thing i definitely mm. inherit that from my family bro my mom is like the most pessimistic like like uh exaggerating like hyperbole hyperbole woman ever bro. hyperbole yeah bro because she's just fucking bro every time i go out to drive i mean to be fair it's just like a mother you know being a mother yeah. so i'm not gonna bash her for that it's yeah. just being a mother. it's definitely just out of love yeah but, she, but like she'd be sending me the most evil videos of like fucking insane car accidents bro like damn the most insane shits where the whole car just like evaporates or just disintegrates you know what i'm saying like after the crash or some shit and i'm like mom 
I'm not going that fast or anything like that. But she's like, but and somebody can hit you. Damn. So then I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do at that point? Like, yeah, no. duh. Okay, yeah, but that can happen to anybody. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? Stay home forever? Is that what you want? Yeah. Is that what you want me to do? Yeah. So essentially, we take risks every day in life. Mm-hmm. We just get used to some. And once we get used to those risks, they become like not even like a thing we think about. It's a risk getting in our car and stepping outside every day. Damn. But we just don't think about that. That's true. When we get older, we do. I mean, when, we, when we're younger, we do think about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Going outside is a scary thing. You're like, holy shit. That's true. I might, I might die out there. <laughs> Who knows what might happen? Maybe a wolf will come find me. You're crazy, bro. You could literally just walk out in your like sidewalk. Someone could just like. Know, a tree just, falls on you. Yeah, or, <laughs> yeah, or someone will be driving and just like have a manic episode or something and just be like. Ur, ur. So, like, I do have a question. Like, mm. I think I'm a firm, firm believer of karma and like mm. you manifest things and like things come to you because not because not because you deserve it because sometimes th- bad things happen, right? And that's what I have to question. Like, why do these bad things happen? You know, like those evil things and all that shit. Like, do does that karma ever come back? You know what I'm saying? So, for example, like a massacre, like a dude doing a massacre or something like that. Like, you're not, those kids are manifesting that death or that massacre. There's no way they could have prevented that or anything like that. They didn't have that coming to them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Whereas a lot of people that die, like, sometimes they manifest their deaths, you know? Mm. Off, that's what I'm trying to get to. Yeah. Obviously, if it's like a tragic shit, like yeah, you're murdering shit. Obviously, somebody else caused that. But that's what I'm saying. Where does that karma go? Because then a motherfucker like kills himself too. Mm. You know, where does that energy? Where does all that bad karma and all that evil go? Like it goes into the air. Like how does it come back mm. to that person? Because it can never successfully get like, like I don't know, closure. It's, yeah. it's you know what I'm saying. Like you know justified. What I'm saying? Yeah. yeah so what the fuck so like people that just do like a school shooting and then kill themselves you just put all that hatred and all that sadness all that shit into the world that's definitely been done and it can't come back to you because you're done well i mean uh, essentially you're going to hell right so i guess that's how it's going to go back to you but it still doesn't really make up for it like it doesn't make up for all the pain and suffering so that's just my question you know like those wow. kids or like those people died tragically like they're not manifesting their deaths or anything like that so they didn't deserve any of that bullshit i'm not saying people deserve to die of course yeah. i'm not sure why people that like do that but like if you're like if you're like an avid drug user and you've been you know addicted to drugs for like 35 years and eventually die on like the 36 year of a drug overdose like it was kind of you know bound to happen eventually mm. like it's fuck to say but that's just what i'm trying to get at yeah you know like what goes around comes around you know definitely yeah i i, I believe in that so what if sure. you there's nothing to come around to because you're dead type you can take your own life uh, i feel like even is that how is that how a hitler's made or something <sighs> bro prob- i mean i think that's just pure evil in the world like that's just what it is like that's such a like you know what i mean like I don't know, that's what I get from it, that that's just pure evil at that point. You know what I mean? That you just decide to take others' lives and then, like, you're already thinking, like, um, you know, I know that I'm going to kill myself, like, after I do this. Yeah. So, like, it's not even that you just genuinely want the power to, like, want to, you know, commit harm and, Mm -hmm. you know, destroy lives and tear apart families. You know what I'm saying? Like, something is overcome by that person. For them to do something like that you know what i mean mm-hmm. so yeah but i don't know that that's a that's a crazy concept bro but <laughs> wait but but like where's the energy go bro i'm just trying to understand like, uh i think like what comes from it yeah, like that, where does it go yeah like, oh yeah that was because my, you yeah. did evil you did evil when you do evil it comes back to you mm-hmm. but you killed yourself so how does mm-hmm. it come back to you other than hell hell doesn't count because i mean hell would have been inevitable you know what i'm saying like what the fuck like i don't think hell's and i don't think that casting hell upon one person is gonna like make up for all the fucking people that were that they killed maybe unless they all go to heaven i guess if you just think about it in a religious way but if you're not a religious person 
and you think about mm. like energy and you're like that type of person yeah i don't know that's what i'm just thinking about bro that's that's my train of thought right now maybe and it, i might be going off on a weird ass tangent but like but know. like what if it doesn't even like have to go anywhere you know what i'm saying like but what like if, what? Like, uh, what if i like you only know that it went somewhere when that person is like alive i guess right like if they or i don't know something happened where you know they received that like justification upon them for doing that that uh you know harm but like but i don't think so that always can be that though because let's say for example um your dad raped you as a kid or something like you know it can manifest through you now you know and like you can be oh. passed out like through other people's traumas and shit like that so let's say like somebody witnessed this guy murder all his friends in the school shooting you know what i'm saying mm. but he survived it and now that energy you know the, the mm. you know all that shit that he has seen all that now it manifests through him and he might go about it in the wrong way mm. it might become more evil and now this guy is gonna do more evil in the future you know yeah so that's what I'm just trying to say. Like that's why I'm saying is that our Hitlers are made, bro. But like yeah. it's like, did he experience something so terrible that he became Hitler, uh, or was he like, just like that? Already like that, yeah. yeah. Mm, okay, yeah, no, I see, I see. Like that's how I believe. Yeah. I believe that there's like a cause and effect, mm. like type things. Like there's always a cause there's and effect to something. Mm -hmm. I don't think that shit just happens. And when you do, when things do just happen. And you do act on your free will yeah. that is completely evil, that mm. it's going to come back in some form or way. That's what I mean. You know what I'm saying? That, that's kind of like my idea, mm. ology of life. I know. I got gotcha. you. Damn. I mean, I think that was my kind of point like that. It, I think it, it could just be like. It just disappears, though. I don't get Just it. evil, you know. Damn, bro, we're all evil. Bro. I don't know. Some. What's like the most evil thing you would be okay with? <laughs> <laughs> shit like if everybody had to do one thing evil like what would you choose to do i think i would say <laughs> you want me to lead i'll say it. i don't fucking care i would say i like, wouldn't do it yeah i'm not evil yeah i'm saying you have to commit an evil deed or else yeah. you die yeah you know what i'm saying and shit we're selfish yeah if I don't give a fuck that much, yeah. I'm gonna do it. But I'm gonna never do this, and I don't condone it. I would all. steal. You'd steal. Yeah. yeah. But see, what extent though? Like candy bar, like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, like a. Or fucking rob a bank, like armed robbery, like see, like that. I don't mean, is that evil though? I don't know. Hmm, that could be debatable with itself. Nah, that definitely. I think that is. Evil. So, no, it's pretty evil. Yeah. Or robbing a evil. church. How about that? That's oh, that's evil. Damn. No, that's actually evil. Yeah, bro. because you rob a bank, like at the end of the day, that wow. bank is gonna get the money back no matter what. So you rob a church, I don't think it'll get the money back. It's a it's like a private mm. thing, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Okay, no, that's actually evil. I don't know. What were you gonna say though? <laughs> I don't know, like kick a cat or some shit. Kick a cat? Yeah. Damn, bro. Like that's evil as fuck. fuck that's bro. very like, evil, bro. Like kind of just like broke my heart, bro. For real, bro. I fucking love cats, dog. Really? Yeah, Over dogs? Bro. Low key, bro. What the low key? <laughs> I mean, I could get that vibe from you. I fuck with but cats, not, bro. bro. Like I don't really fuck with cats like that. There's a lot of them. They have nine lives. I'm not saying I would kill it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I you just, just kick, it. kick it. True. Okay. Bro, <laughs> there was a guy. And then I can get like I win. Like you know, my life is. I'm. I. I survive. Okay. Instead yeah. of dying. Yeah, yeah. There's a guy that what? Oh, uh, nah. He's, he like, he told me he hates geese. And like, geese? Yeah. Like he said he would like choke it. <laughs> 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 I was like, damn, bro. That's kind of wild. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> damn, I want to like. Did you ever watch regular show like that? I did, but I didn't. Why? Oh, because there was like, I seen there a lot of it. Because there was an episode with like, uh, it, they were they were friends with the like little ducks. You remember that? Mm-hmm. But then there was geese who were like evil type shit. And then they fought against them like the ducks versus the geese and shit. That joint was tough. But uh but yeah. What were you gonna say? Do you remember? Hmm. No, I don't. Nah. Right. But I'm gonna say, I was gonna say now like what's your coping mechanism? Cause I think I discovered a new one. Really? Like, well yeah, going through everything. Like I realized yeah. that how I've I've just been fucking eating, bro. Oh, I was gonna say that same. I've just been fucking eating like 
hella snacks, candy, really? everything. Yeah, like it sucks. I realized it. And I'm like, shit. But I don't know why, bro. Damn, no I'm just cap. Just coping like that. I'm, I don't know why. I mean, it's it's a form of comfort. Yeah. You know, at least for me as well. Like sometimes I'm not even hungry. Exactly. Right, and me you neither. just and you just be munching. Yeah. yeah. Bro, food is crazy. Yeah, bro. That's like, bro. That's literally. I think that's part of like. You remember when we looked up the 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 sins? Yeah, gluttony. Like, when gluttony. Yeah, it's like food, like because it's like, um, you know, comfort and pleasure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, bro, I've been eating so much like chocolate and shit. Damn, bro. I eat breakfast, then I go to work. And then they have breakfast there too for like the kids, mm-hmm. but like the, a lot of the kids have been absent recently. So like, bruh, they they still bring the same amount of breakfast. Mm. I've just been rubbing that breakfast, bro. Today they have Cinnabons, bro. I grab oh. I grab like three. <laughs> then all right, then after Holy that, fuck, that's yeah, a lot of calories, bro. No, son. And now I'm just like that's like what like nine hundred calories, bro. Don't even get me started. <laughs> like a thousand. I so much shit here. I was eating these, oh, these yeah. popcorn at the beginning of this epi. Yeah, it's like 150, eating some of these. Like, oh, shit. Ah, I didn't know I was much of an eater like that. Where does, like, the fat go for you? Do you know? Like, do you ever... stomach and in my face. You ever point out specific... Yeah, like, me is, bro, my face, like, first. Anytime I ever... Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, low-key, I've been been the same recently, bro. Like, even before, like, what happened with uh, Joel, like, just been, like, grubbing, bro. Like drinking hella sodas too. Really? Yeah. Luckily, bro. I haven't really been drinking soda or anything. Yeah, I've, bro, been, I've drinking been drinking hella water. I've but... been drinking a lot of soda, bro. Like no cap. Mm. And uh, yeah, bro. Just fucking McDonald's. I've been grabbing hella McDonald's, bro. That fucking McDonald's app be crazy sometimes, son. <laughs> <laughs> like two dollar ten piece chicken nugget. Holy, no way. I'm gonna say no, bro. You know. But yeah, bro. It's definitely a a good way for me to. That's my like personal coping mechanism: eating. Yeah. And like, probably I mean, probably just, like drinking too. Really, you've been drinking? Nah, recently not much. No, you weren't with that close to Joel, so it's yeah. the same. No, yeah, I, don't, I haven't been drinking. Luckily, I don't turn to that shit. Mm. But I feel I I see like. Uh, eating being yeah. just as bad because mm. I eat garbage. I know that's why. <laughs> I know. If I didn't, if I ate and like you have a just, sweet uh, tooth, yeah. If I yeah. eat normal food, okay, but I eat garbage. Yeah, fuck. So, so I mean, you yeah. ever eat fast food like that? Do you eat fast food? Like yeah, that? Chipotle, I know you. Like, I know you I eat love Chipotle. Chipotle a lot. Yeah, yeah. Chipotle is my go-to. Mm. That's the go-to, bro. I mean, come on out, like, yeah, because <laughs> it's kind of healthy too in it's a like way. Semi. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's not that bad for sure. Yeah, it's not. It's not that bad. Yeah. It's it's decent food. Yeah, you know if you work out, you get that after. Like that's pretty good, bro. That's a good Damn, way to bro. refill on your on your body. You know Low key, I might have to like, fade for. Real. But no, I ate a sub today. Seeing like, bad. Jerry's, Jersey Mike's, oh. which is pretty good, but it's also very unhealthy as well. Damn, bro, that's crazy. But yeah, bro, and this should happen like. My spring break. I'm on spring break right now. You still on, yeah, still so. on break, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just but it's the end of it. Like it's Friday, so. Oh yeah, yeah. Next week I go back to school. Damn. But it's like damn. I can't imagine this happen. Like this had happened like this weekend and going into school like this. Hell. Oh. I would have been down bad, bro. My damn. brain would have not been able to focus. I cr- I've been like. I mean, that happened to some people though. I can imagine, right? Because like some people had different spring break times. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Damn, Damn I don't know how people do it. Like, <sighs> cause I know people, like rappers. This makes me think about like rappers and shit. Like mm-hmm. I listen to rappers that have friends that have died. Like a lot of friends that have died. You know, like mm-hmm. three or four, maybe more. I'm like, holy shit! Like, mm-hmm. good friends. I couldn't even handle one right now. I I couldn't even imagine having to lose this many. Damn. And like often. And not even that, like, even around our neighborhood, bro, we've been seeing, like, or, like, in G-Town, I've been seeing, like, a lot of people from around the same area that are from the same friend groups yeah. just losing their life, bro. Yeah, bro. Dang. And it's, like, I don't know if it's, like, because the age we are and how we're getting older, so it's becoming more normal, you know, like, because it just happens. Yeah. Or it is, like, all tragic shit. I mean, I feel like most most death is preventable. What you think about that? 
most death is preventable or do you think all death is preventable uh, i mean death isn't preventable so all death isn't preventable yeah like I just, everybody's gonna bro, die i just think when it's your time it's your time bro. Mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like that was meant to be that's what i think you think it was meant to be yeah for, it's just it's just like the conversation be, we were having to be done yeah it's like the conversation we were having on like would you rather know when or 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 like how you would die right mm-hmm. like you know you said you would rather know how yeah so like regardless yeah if if it, if you found out you're gonna die from an airplane crash like that was inevitably inevitably gonna happen it could even be like you know like you accidentally like yeah you could try to avoid airplanes but what if it's something where you like you accidentally like like just a plane out of nowhere just comes and crushes yeah, you right you know what, what i'm saying about, like, yeah that's what i was thinking about like you're walking and you just turn around and you just see your airplane just come into doggers yeah like what <laughs> damn but personally honestly i think i'd rather know when like when yeah i think i'd rather know when why so you can live your life to the fullest yeah bro what if it's like not when you expect and it's like damn holy shit it's soon damn that would break my heart and i yeah. would not be able to fade but i would I still to try fade. to i actually i don't know i actually i don't know i mean i i would like to say that i would just be like damn well fuck it then i'm gonna just go to like fucking <laughs> i don't know just do some crazy shit you know what i'm saying it's sad to think that like that happens bro yeah it's sad to think that like death is even a real thing bro holy crap it's literally so hard to process bro you so hard to process i just saw this man's bro yeah that's crazy bro i just saw him that's crazy you remember that anime i was telling you about villain saga yeah so there was a there, so it, it's actually also revolved around christianity i don't i think i mentioned that but there's so there's like a priest that right and he's actually a drunk too <laughs> but um he basically is going on about how like death is love like because you're basically you know gone from like the evil world so that's a part of like i guess god loving you in a way okay you know what i mean yeah i mean i know there's positive ways to look at death you yeah. know what i'm saying like death should be celebrated yeah you know yeah, and yeah. shit like that like we should, i should have celebrated the time that i had with him and i'd yeah. be happy the fact that i even had memories with him and shit like that supposed to be being sad of like what could happen damn but it's like i don't know it's just so much harder to actually like do yeah instead, instead of just saying it damn bro it is yeah that's crazy damn and it, and it just sucks how it's like just it's a, it's a way to bring people together mm. like people come together during death you know yeah. i guess that's kind of something to be celebrated you know yeah that's morning yeah like morning together type shit because uh, we had a vigil and shit and like it just a mini one with the friends the day of like out of yeah. nowhere and a decent amount of people came and i'm like holy crap you know i just know that it, like it was it was good to see a lot of those people like a lot of people in the same place that like, we haven't even seen each other in a long ass time and it's like damn just on the spot just like that we can all just come together you know damn. and then um the, the funeral's coming up too i can't i honestly can't wait for it I don't know how I'm going to be there mentally, emotionally. I'm going to be destroyed probably. Like, I know it's it's going to be an open casket and just like even thinking about having to see my mans like that is already crushing me, you know, and just, just even having that picture in general. Mm. But like, damn, damn, like what the? It makes me think about it, honestly, and you know what I've been thinking about too. It makes me think about how I don't want to die mm-hmm. at all because I don't want people to like feel like that. Yeah, I was honestly gonna ask you this, like, but I don't know if it was like not like appropriate, but just like I guess like a question to be asked like during this time. But it was, it's like, how would you want to be like remembered? I guess like after you know saying yeah. like and i was just thinking like you know you were saying like and i agree with this too is that like i you know remember him to be just a funny like you were saying a funny mm-hmm. dude like any every moment was there was some sort of like you know some way to humor. laugh yeah, yeah some sort of humor so like imagine asking him like that question before that happened like do you think he would have wanted like to be remembered that way like oh just someone that like, Fuck yeah. you know what i'm saying someone everyone Fuck would yeah. would, would want to like have a, that type of moment with hell yeah you know what i'm saying yeah he definitely would nah i know for a fact he would definitely want to 
be remembered, be remembered as that type of person, you know, mm-hmm. the dude that was just funny because he was always trying to be funny. Yeah, yeah, you know, like he was aware of that. Bro, there's no. He was definitely aware of the shit he was doing. You know? <laughs> yeah, like know. there's like he wasn't an idiot. Like he was yeah. an idiot, but he was like a smart idiot. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> he knew what he was doing. Like this man, bro. We were at the beach and we had to leave beach week. Were you with us? I don't think so. Nah, nah. Bro, he had to leave the beach. Like, like Gonzo. We're done for the whole trip. And we go to, like, the boardwalk one last time or some shit. We all go somewhere. And, then like, we turn around. Joel's gone. We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> we all have to leave, bro. We go. We're texting him. It's, like, 45 minutes past, son. We're so, so long. We're just searching for him. Then finally he just comes back, backing. He just comes back walking, like chilling with the ice cream. He's like, yo. <laughs> We're just like, oh my God. Like, this is just such a Joel shit, you know? Like, everything is just funny by his ass. Yo. <laughs> just being a goof. He's like, yo, what's good? What's good, yo? We're like, bro, where the fuck did you go? You can't just, like, leave without saying anything. You know, he didn't say shit. No one knew? Nah. He just left. No, so no one realized? Nope. He just like, bye bye. <laughs> Like a little child with autism or something, <laughs> just like seeing something and like going Chill. to it. Oh, oh my gosh, damn! Hey, but that's how he was, bro. I mean, if how would I like to be remembered? Is that, is that how you would want to be like someone? Just like, a funny dude. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, I hope. So many people that I mean, I'd like to be remembered that as somebody that they people had a good time with. I don't know, mm. like more good times and bad times type. If it was that way, damn, I'm not living right, and I'm sorry, but I need to start changing. So damn. Cause, true. That's people cool. are gonna remember the people are gonna remember the good shit. I feel like people will remember the good shit. Mm-hmm. Like when we think about Joel, we think about the good shit. Mm-hmm. Like he did a lot of dumb, slimy, dumb shit too. But I don't really remember it that much. You know, first thing that comes to mind is how he made me laugh and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I hope it's like that for everybody. Yeah. What about you, bro? How you want to be remembered? Mm. Damn, I don't even know. I would just think like. Just, yeah, never uh, like a dull moment, I guess, but also just almost always like smiled. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. want. That's good. You know what I'm saying? Just want to smile and like had a like heart. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Just real. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I want to be seen as real too. Not like a fake ass dude. It's crazy, bro. And, like, the thing is that, you know, everyone who remembered Joel, like, they're also going to, like, we're also going to die, too. Yeah. At some point, you know what I'm saying? I know. So, like. And it's sad to think about who knows when. <laughs> Holy fuck. Sorry. But, yeah. like, you know, <laughs> but honestly, though, bro. Yeah. So, we got to, that's why we got to, like, I know it's a wake-up call for, like, death is also a wake-up call for a lot of people. And it's, like, to take advantage of the time you got with, who, like, with who you have now. Cause you don't know when it's done. You dead ass don't. I saw my man for five minutes before the last time I saw him. I only saw him for five minutes. Did not think that that was gonna be the last time I ever saw my man. Damn. Saying peace out just because I had a soccer game and I had to leave. I didn't like you know what I'm saying. Maybe I could have stayed like a little longer too. Damn. And I was talking about him too with his other cousin at my soccer game. Damn. And who knows? Maybe I could have like you know laughed a little more. There's always like a feeling of regret with death. Like it makes you feel so many different emotions. You know? Damn. It all just comes crashing down on your ass. But hey. And like guilt. Yeah. Mm. Like you wish you could have like reached out more. Reached out, you know, yeah. been there more, you know? Like he was my bro. Honestly, I think I kept in contact in comparison, like with all my other high school friends, like mm. from our high school group. I'm one of the ones that stayed in contact with him like the most. In comparison to everybody else, like there may be like a, like two or three others I did too. But for the most part, I did what I could, you know. At the end of the day, it was also like in his hands too. I can't control his ass. Yeah. And what he was doing and stuff like that. But yeah, just make sure you take advantage of the time you got with the people around you, bro. You love them, bro. Say you love them. Yeah. Ain't nothing real. sweet about that shit. Damn. If you love your bros, you love your bros, bro. Because that's just how it is. We're supposed to be on here on this planet for relationships, making relationships. Yeah, bro. And appreciating each other. Mm. Not to fucking hate each other, kill each other and shit. That's crazy how people do that, too. Fuck. 
Not to be hateful, bro. Yeah, but it's just the truth. Mm-hmm. It's the truth, bro. Stop spending time hating on your mans. Yeah. And be like, you know, appreciate the good shit about them. You know what I'm saying? And have that conversation with them. Because you never know, it might make the relationship better. Calling them out as being a bitch or something might help. <laughs> And then you have the conversation. You better have a good reason for it. Yeah. Don't just call him a bitch for being a bitch. Because then you are a bitch. Maybe you're the problem. True. Take a look at yourself. Yeah, I think that's the first thing, like, to analyze. It's like, okay, like, what are, like, am I putting in, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But then at some point, you all, there's also, like, a line with that, too. You know? Because you know how, like, people are, like, a lot of times. I see this a lot on Twitter. And people are, like, oh, like, if, if. You know, no one hits me up. I'm not going to hit, like, no one up type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like, there's a certain degree where, like, you know, obviously no one's going to hit you up because, you know, you're not doing anything. Yeah. Like, you got to put something in first. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, how are you going to expect, like, 100 bucks from, a, from you know, your bank if, if you only put, like, like 10 bucks in? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, you can't withdraw 100. Yeah. <laughs> you only put 10, bitch. Yeah. So put in a little more bread. Get your <laughs> bread up and put a little, a little bit in there. And be ready to be ready to withdraw, but also put in as much as you can, son. Yeah, you get what you give, and that was like kind of the point I was trying to make earlier yeah. with like killing people and all that stuff, you know? Because yeah. you get what you give. If you kill somebody, something gonna come back to you somehow, some way. Yeah, you're never off the hook. That's why sinning is sinning. You'll never successfully ever get away with anything. Mm. I don't think if it was a bad intent. Or evil desire or a temptation or something like that in some way shape or form down the line in the road like along the road it'll manifest itself and come back to you it might not be what you expect but hey it just does because mm. that's how life works you don't get off anything bro. Okay. and whether it be god that brings that to you or whatever you believe mm. you know god some god's always watching yeah. whoever is always watching you know the universe is always watching so mm-hmm. you know, that don't gonna come back to you, bro. There's a price to be paid. Yeah, always, always, yeah, always. Nothing in life is easy. Always it comes easy, bro. Honestly, even like just remembering now that question you asked me on, like you know, I guess that dude, like if he like did the school shooting and like killed himself right after, like he might have already paid that price, but be- like before he did kill himself. Who knows though? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. what if like the amount of guilt he felt was like so immense that he was like damn like i'm about to just fucking kill myself like what if he didn't think he was gonna you know what i mean like what if he but like i don't think it would be enough because he put an end to the pain bro he put an end to that guilt and pain by killing himself Mm. you know what i'm saying he didn't see it out or anything like that he didn't go through it he just said bye boom that's true fuck that bullshit damn that's true Damn, well, yeah. This Do you is- think killing is justifiable at that point? Do you think, like, you should kill somebody if they didn't like a school shooting? Like, you should. Because, like, then it's man made. I don't think I don't think another man should have that ability. It's like, God, that, that's what oh. I'm saying. So, if you decide to kill somebody but or commit a school shooting, but let's say you didn't kill yourself yeah. and you did survive, yeah. you're going to face that karma in some way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't think it's going to be a man made thing that makes you oh. face that karma. You know? Mm. Like, it's about what energy you put out type shit. Like, no man, you killing him is only going to, like, set the fucking, what's it called? It's gonna fuck up the karma. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's not gonna. It's never. Justice is never gonna be served, even though it never will be because the people die. But like, you yeah. know, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. The course won't take its. It won't yeah. set fully. Yeah, yeah. End For the person. Damn, bro. Sweet. That's actually. That's a wild concept. So that's why. That's why no killing. Yeah. You'll die somehow. Yeah. You'll get eaten by like a lion or something. Nah, I mean he's definitely getting like, fucking plastered in in hell. Who? That like it like oh, that, that dude person does someone, yeah hypothetically yeah like, they get raped by just demons <laughs> demon horns ten inch long. but that, that's that's definitely happened before though I feel like ten inch long demon horns no no <laughs> maybe but I'm talking about like the guy who like would kill like I mean uh commit a school shooting and then like kill himself mm-hmm. like that's definitely happened before right oh yeah 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 it happened a lot yeah so like yeah they're they're I'm they're, pretty sure Columbine did yeah, that they they have to be rotting that was Columbine they killed himself. That's crazy. Yeah, they gotta be rotting for sure. Mm-hmm. But yeah, sorry about it. such a dark episode. Yeah. You know, like, motherfuckers yeah. gotta come on here and vent and shit. For you sure. know, like we're going through a lot. We're all human. At the end of the day, we go through real life shit. 
tell everybody you know or appreciate in your life that you love and appreciate them because you never know when it's too late or they're gone. Mm. So just do it and enjoy the time you have with each other. Mm. And enjoy. I hope you enjoyed listening this to this episode. You know what I'm saying? So. Love you, Joey. Love you, Joel, bro. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Love you guys. Thank you.